In this video, I'll show you how to refund an order. If I go to sales orders, and I'm going to refund this one here, which is a completed order for £15. And the customer has purchased a, a t shirt in black and in size small. All I'll do is go to the top here and look for credit memo. Click credit memo and it opens up a screen which looks very familiar to the um, order overview screen with all the information in. At the bottom you've got your items to refund grid. At the moment this order has only got one product in it and it's set to one as the quantity of items to refund for that product. If I check the checkbox here, return to stock, that will put that item back into stock when I've completed the refund. And as I scroll down, so this order costs £15, so at the moment I'm refunding the full £15, as you can see in the grand total at the bottom. Perhaps I don't want to refund the shipping, because that's non-refundable. I can put a zero in there, and then that will only refund £10, because the shipping will be taken out. As it is at the moment, this grand total won't update. But because I've taken that shipping out, it'll only refund £10, which the customer paid for the t-shirt, and not the £5 um, added on for the shipping. I can add some comments to this. So, um, shipping refundable, for example. And I can email a copy of that credit memo to the customer, so they've got a record of their item being refunded. The bottom option says refund offline because this um, order was placed by check so I can't do an online transaction refund or refund them in some other way offline. So when I'm happy with the details of my refund I'll click the refund offline button and then if I scroll down here you can see that my items ordered is one invoice one it was shipped and then it was refunded and returned to stock and that also gets added on to your credit memos tab up here and you as you can see it's refunded 10 pounds so if i click into that refund and have a look at it you can see that they've refunded the subtotal of 833 plus the 167 of tax that's come to ten pounds but the shipping charges were not refunded refunding that item also means that it's been deducted from my lifetime sales that's no longer an order which is counted against the system so that's how you refund an order in Magento